Hey friends, I'm Amy, a health coach here at Flip Your Leaf, and today we're talking about fructans. Now, fructans are oligosaccharides, which is the O in FODMAP, and all that means is that they're one to 10 molecules bonded together. Now you can find fructans in a variety of places. They are in vegetables, they're in fruits, sometimes they're just listed as dietary fiber, like they're a weird gang. Um, but what you need to know is that they come in three sort of different sized buckets, depending on their chain length. So we have the first two buckets are around one to 10 molecules bonded together and we call these oligofructans. The third group of fructans are 10 or more molecules together and this is what we call inulin. Now the reason that we have these buckets is that you might react to longer chain fructans, like you might react to the inulin group, but you might not react to the smaller chain fructans. And so when we're testing fructans in the low FODMAP diet, we generally test them three times and that is by produce. So we're going to pick like a vegetable or a fruit that has fructans in it and we'll test that. Then we're going to test grain because that's a different Different chain length and then we're going to test inulin separately so we're looking for at least three tests in the fructan group again just because you don't know if you if you're testing only the longest chain we don't know if there's you know a smaller chain or something in between that is going to work for your body and the whole purpose of the low FODMAP diet is to add as many foods as possible and so just to give ourselves an even better preview of how you're going to handle the fructan group we want to make sure that we're hitting each of these fructan buckets so here's a fun fact. Our bodies don't actually make an enzyme to digest fructans. And that means that when you're eating foods that contain fructans, they're arriving in your colon essentially unchanged. And this is why many foods in the fructan arena are called prebiotics. They're food for your gut bugs. So I know what you're thinking. I thought the whole point of the low FODMAP diet was to remove foods that are easily fermented by our gut bugs to sort of quash that little gut bug fermentation party that we're having in our guts because it's painful. The, you know, the receptors in our gut getting overextended, you know, having all of these painful events, that abdominal pain, that cramping. I thought this is what we were avoiding, but there are some essential jobs that are involved in this fermentation process. Like during fermentation, some of these gut bugs are making short chain fatty acids that our bodies can't make on our own. They are helping us absorb calcium, which we need for muscle health and, you know, bone health and brain function. They are helping suppress pathogens for our immune system. Like they're really supporting our body. And this is why one of the goals of the low FODMAP diet is to really find that threshold for you. This is one of the reasons that we are testing food, uh, sorry, testing fructans three times to make sure that we are not eliminating foods unnecessarily because you reacted to one side of the spectrum. We don't want to be cutting out things on the other side of the spectrum. That's because so many foods do play an incredible role in our bodies. And it is essential that if you can tolerate foods, that we are adding them back into your diet in whatever way, shape or form works for you. So just to recap our idea for today, Fructans are oligosaccharides, which are the O in FODMAP, and our body doesn't have an enzyme to break them down, which means when you eat them, they're ending up in your colon, your large intestine, basically the same way they were when they came in. And that is because many foods under the fructan category are actually a kind of fiber called prebiotics, and that is food for your gut bugs. And we talked about how many important roles your gut bugs play. And so it's really important that we are, you know, giving them a healthy diet as well. Now, if you need more information on IBS, on how your body works, you want some tasty low FODMAP recipes for your elimination phase, make sure to check out my website, the FODMAP formula. I have a ton of information. There's new stuff going up there all the time. There are a billion ways to connect with me. I'm going to pop the link below. Make sure you come and visit me. I have so much stuff to share with you and I'm so excited to help you on this low FODMAP journey. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You're going to get a ton more information on IBS, FODMAPs, and how to make your body feel like home. I'll see you in my next video.